The next model of communication is wireless model. Who is David Kenneth Berlow? David Kenneth Berlow was born in 1929 and died in 1996. So he was the 11th president of Illuminis State University, a native of St. Louis, Missouri. Berlow was interested in communication and earned his psychology degree and later his PhD in communication from the University of Illinois. While there, Berlow wrote what would become a popular textbook in the field of communication entitled The Process of Communication. In 1958, Berlow became the first chairperson for the new Department of General Communication Arts at Michigan State University. Berlow's model of communication explains it in four steps. Source, message, channel, and receiver. The unique aspect of Berlow's model is that it gives detailed account of the key elements in each step that will affect how well the message is communicated. Berlow's model, as we said a while back, that it is a SMCR model. It stands for Source, Message, Channel, and Receiver. S is for Source, is the originator of message. Elements of the source include communication skills of the sender, their attitude, knowledge, and their culture. Next, M for message. Message is the substance that is being sent by the sender to the receiver. It might be in the form of voice, audio, text, video, or other media. Next, elements of the message include its content, structure, and code. For C, stand for channel. Channel is the signal carrier or medium. Elements of the channel include the senses, just like hearing, seeing, touching, smelling, and tasting. R stands for receiver. Is the recipient or the message from the sender. He usually gives feedback to the sender in order to make sure that the message was properly received. Elements of the receiver include their communication skill, attitude, knowledge, and culture. Now let's discuss the factors under each of the elements. So we have here source. The source is situated where the message originates. Communication skills. It is the skill of the individual to communicate, for example, the ability to read, write, speak, and listen. Next, attitudes. This includes attitudes towards the audience, subject, and towards oneself. For example, for the students, the attitude is to learn more, and for teacher, it is to help teach. Next, knowledge. Communicating also means that the person needs to be knowledgeable about the subject or topic. For example, a teacher needs to know about the subject in detail that he or she teaches so that they can communicate properly such that the students understand here. Okay. Note, um, it refers 
not to the general knowledge but to the knowledge of the subject that the person is communicating and their familiarity with it next after knowledge we have here the social system the social system includes the various aspects of society like values belief cultural or culture religion and general understanding of society so it is where the communication takes place for example classroom differ from country to country just like people's behaviors and how they communicate each other so note for note for social system we can communicate only to the extent that the social system allows. When we communicate, we take the social system into account. Next one, we have here culture. Culture of a particular society also comes under the social system. So according to this model, people can formulate only if the elements requirements are met in the proper or adequate proportion next one we have here encoder or encodes the center of the message from where the message originates is referred to as the encoder so the source encodes the message here okay so under the element of message we have here the content so content the body of a message from the beginning to the end comprises its content for example whatever the class teacher teaches in the class from beginning to the end is the content of the message next element it includes various things like language gestures body language and many more so they constitute all the elements of a particular message any content is accompanied by some elements next we have here treatment treatment it refers to the packing of the message and the way in which the message is conveyed or the way in which it is passed on or delivered note for this when there is too much treatment communication will not go smoothly next one we have here structure the structure of the message refers to how it is arranged the way people structure the message into various parts note message is the same but if the structure is not properly arranged then the receiver will not understand the message next one or the last one under message we have here code the code of the message refers to the means through which it is sent and in what form it could be for example language body language guest your music and many more even culture is a code through this people give the give and receive messages and communication takes place note for the code that only when the code is clear the message will be clear the wrong usage may lead to misinterpretation next one we have her channel channel it refers to the five sense organ the following are the five senses hearing seeing touching smelling and tasting so communication occurs through one or more of these channels for example in hearing the use of ear to receive the message for example orally transmitted messages interpersonal communication and many more seeing visual channels for example watching television so the message is conveyed through the scene or film next touching the sense of touch can be used as a channel to communicate for example we touch by food hugging our loved ones and many more next one we have here smell or smelling 
smell also can be a channel to communicate for example perfumes right food and many more so carry the smell communication sometimes is burning so people can deduct which food is being cooked by its smell next one we have here tasting the tongue is a muscular organ used in the act of eat and taste food for example while a food is being shared the communication can happen regarding its taste note for this despite not mentioning a medium we need to assume that as communication is taking place channels can be any of the five senses or combination okay next one we have here the decoder or decodes the person who receives the message and decodes it is referred to a decoder next receiver the receiver needs to think all the source or all the contents and elements of the source so as to communicate or response to sender effectively okay so Berlus model believed that for effective communication to take place the source and the receiver need to be on the same level only then communication will happen or take place properly hence the source and the receiver should be similar for example, if the communication skills of the source is good, then the receiver should have equally good listening skills. Here are some criticism of Berlos SMCR model. There is no concept of feedback, so the effect is not considered. There is no concept of noise or any kind of barriers in communication process and it is a linear model of communication so there is no two-way communication. So both of the people must be similar according to all the factors mentioned a while ago. Okay, so if you have any questions about this topic please comment your name we will address all the questions during your or our asynchronous classes if none kindly click the thumbs up thank you